A, what is the mga beast? So, example number 5 na po tayo sa pag-solve ng deflection in beams using the double integration method. Let's G! Alright. And so, makikita natin mga beast, no? Uh, our example here is quite different sa ating mga previous examples. Yung mga yun ay so simply supported beam. Uh, so, uh, in this case, no? Uh, we could, you would uh, notice that nakakantilever na siya. Ibig sabihin, at the one end, naka-fix support. Yung kabila, wala lang. Naka, ano lang siya? O, nakahang. <laughs> Natawag rin. Oo, parang walang support kung baga. Diba? Walang nakalagay dito. So, dito lang yung support niya. So, ano ba yung mga bagong concepts dito? Well, same pa rin. Alam natin that at supports, no there is no deflection. Your y at this uh, portion is zero. Pero another addition dito, we know that at fixed support, the slope here, at fixed support, the slope is zero. Kasi yung parang magiging deflection yan would look something like that. Eh. Ito, yung tangent line dito sa fixed point is horizontal. Therefore, the slope there is zero. So, pwede natin yung gamitin uh, to solve the uh, maximum, uh, or to solve the C1 and C2, yung arbitrary constant natin. Uh, another dito, mga bis, no? hindi na mag-apply yung sinasabi natin na at maximum deflection na slope is zero. Kasi, ang maximum deflection natin for cantilevered beams will always occur at the free end. No matter what the loading is, it will still occur at the free end. Applicable lang yun kapag cantilevered ha. Kasi, di ba yung deflection nito parang magiging ganyan. So, your maximum deflection will occur at this free end. Okay? So, ayan. Uh, let's proceed to the problem. Uh, sabi dito, wait, Lakihan lang natin. Uh, Sabi dito, let us determine the slope and deflection at of end A. Ito sa end na to, of the cantilevered beam. So, given yung E tsaka I natin. So, with that given, uh, madali na natin yung masusolve. Okay? So, di ba? Balik tayo sa ating formula. Y double prime is equal to the moment equation over EI. So, yung EI natin given. So, don't worry about that. Let us solve for our M or the moment equation. So, paano natin yan gagawin? Uh, let, let us uh, do a cut section dito sa ating beam. Parehas lang sa previous processes natin. Ayan. So, nang pinutol natin yan, uh, mahahate. Wow. Gandang explanation na. <laughs> so, nang nahati yan. Ayan, nahati. So, uh, no need to solve pala no, yung mga reactions dito sa fixed end. Kasi, uh, ano tawag dito? Pinutol natin dito, kinoconsider natin is yung left side lang. If sana yung uh, fixed support natin is dito sa kabila, well, kailang natin i-determine kung ano yung values doon. But for this case, kasi yung kinoconsider natin is yung left side. So, no need. Kasi hindi rin naman ito magagamit. Okay? So, with that, i-project natin yung mga loadings na dito sa ating cantilevered beam. Meron tayo dito yung UDL. Whoops. Straight yan na ha. <laughs> Nwari, straight lang. Yung mga draw lang straight. Ang magnitude nito ay 3 kN per meter. And then, meron tayo dito ang point load. Ayan, na 10 kN. And don't forget, we set this cut section as the length x. So, we don't know that length. So, ngayon, uh, isulat na natin yung ating moment equation. Uh, remember, clockwise moments positive, counterclockwise negative. And uh, yung cut section natin kung saan natin pinutol, yun yung magiging uh, uh, pivot point niya. Doon natin siya paiikutin, di ba? Tulad ng pagpapaikot niya sa'yo. <laughs> nice joke. So, simulan natin dito sa ating 10 kN uh, uh, force. It will create what kind of moment? Counterclockwise. Ikot ka niya ng pabaliktad. So, nang umikot ng pabaliktad, nahulog, char. So, nang umikot na siya ng pabaliktad, ibig sabihin negative kasi counterclockwise nga, di ba? Negative 10. Tapos, uh, multiply natin yung moment arm niya. So, ano yung moment arm or the perpendicular distance to the pivot point? That's the length x. Okay? Next, meron tayo dito yung UDL. So, yung UDL natin, convert muna natin yan into point load. And kapag kinonvert sa point load, parang rectangle lang yan. Length times width kasi UDL siya eh. So, parang uh, ano yung height na to? Uh, that's 3 kN per meter, di ba? Kasi multiply natin sa length kung saan siya nag-act, which is x. So, that is 3. Ito yung height magnitude niya, which is 3, times the length x. So, this is 3x. Okay? So, negative 3x. Negative kasi umikot ulit ng counter, counterclockwise yung ikot niya. Now, we need to multiply pa rin. Uh, tuloy natin, kailangan natin i-multiply yung moment arm. 
and that is this distance, di ba? Dito papunta yan. That is x over 2. Bakit? Kasi UDL siya. So, we expect that the convergent point load would occur at the center of that uh, UDL. Exactong centro. Okay? So, uh, multiply natin. x over 2. Ayan. So, ito na yung ating uh, moment equation. So, proceed na tayo sa of integration proper. So, rewrite lang natin yan. Ito. So, ti, parang nilagay ko lang sa taas. y double prime is equal to m. Ang m natin is negative 10x minus 3. Simplify ko na. x times x is uh, x squared. Yeah. Over 2. Ayan. So, let us proceed with integration. So, integrate natin to. Integrate natin to all in terms of x. Okay? So, itong ei mga bis parang constant lang yan. Ilabas lang natin yan. However, itong y double prime, magiging y prime na lang siya. Is equal to, ito, negative 10x plus 1 times exponent. So, magiging 2 over 2. Ito, negative 3. Ang exponent is 2. So, plus 1, 3x cube Don't forget, ilagay din natin sa taba. Ayan. So, ito yung ating uh, slope equation. So, simplify lang natin to para maayos tignan. Ei, y prime, uh, 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 x squared minus uh, cancel 3, cancel 3 x cube over 2. Ayan. And don't forget pala no, the arbitrary constant. Huwag kalimutan. Minsan nakakalimutan ko rin. And ayan, continue na natin. So, this is our slope equation. We need to integrate again kasi uh, we are asked also find for the deflection. So, kapag eh, slope lang sa da, pwede na to. ba? Pero, pinapahan natin yung deflection. So, we need to solve the deflection equation. So, for the second time, let us integrate. Ayan. Pag, pag integrate natin yan, yung y, na, y prime, magiging y na lang siya. This is the slope. Eh, this is the deflection. Sorry for that. Ito, negative 5x plus 1 sa exponent, magiging 3 over 3 minus plus 1 sa exponent, magiging 4 over 2 times 4. Plus C1, magiging C1x na lang na siya. And then, since we are integrating the second time, let us add another arbitrary constant. So, with this uh, deflection equation and slope equation, we can determine yung pinapahanap sa problem. Pero, take note, isolve muna natin itong C1 at C2. Okay? And, para natin yan kagawin, we will use yung mga uh, boundary conditions na discuss natin earlier at which at fixed support, or let's say at x, is equal to 3. 3, bakit? That, that length, you know. When x hour is 3, our slope, or say the y prime, is equal to 0. Yung slope dito sa fixed uh, support ay 0. And also, alam natin that at the fixed support, or at any support, y or the deflection is also equal to 0. So we can use these conditions to solve for c1 and c2 starting dito sa ating uh, slope equation. So, let's at uh, x is equal to 3. We know that y prime or the slope is equal to 0. So, let us use this slope equation. When uh, y prime is 0, that will be 0 times ei. So, 0 rin lang. Yung x natin is 3. So, negative 5. Yan. x squared. So, magiging 3 squared minus uh, ang x natin is 3. 3 cube over 2 plus C1. So, C1 na lang yung natira, ba? With that, pwede natin siyang mahanap. So, simplify natin. So, this is uh, 3 squared is 9, right? 9 times 5 is, uh, ano ba? 9 times 5 is negative 45 minus 3 cube. 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. 27 divided by 2. Okay, so, uh, since ito, nilipat natin sa kabilang sign equation, ito magpapalit ko ng sign. Okay? So, ayan. Pag inad natin yan, that would be, ano ba yun? 27 divided by 2 is like 13.5. So, 13 plus uh, 15 would be equal to 50, 58, 58.5. Kasi, ayan, tama, 58.5 yung C1 natin. That is positive. Right? Okay? Now, uh, since we already found C1, then we can proceed the deflection equation and solve for C2. We use the condition at which 
at x is equal to 3. Same then dito sa dulo. Sa dulo na to, y is 0 or the deflection is 0. Okay? At x equal to 3, y is equal to 0. So, yan Gamitin natin yung deflection equation. That is 0. So, ei times 0 is 0. Ito, palitan natin yung mga x ng 3. So, negative 5 times 3 cube divided by 3 minus uh, x to the fourth or 3 to the fourth power divided by 2 times 4 is uh, 8 plus c1. Ano yung c1 natin? 58.5 times x which is equal to ano ulit yan? 3, di ba? Kulang yung space. If kulang yung space, then we create 1. Okay? So, yan. Tapos, plus c2. Okay. So, kung makikita nyo lang, c2 na lang yung uh, variable dito. So, solve na lang natin yan. I need to use my calculator kasi hindi na kaya ng ating uh, mga brain, natitirang brain cells, no? Ayan, nasan yung calculator? Ayan. So, ito, simplify ito, di ba? Yung 3, cancel na lang doon. So, magiging 2 na lang yan. Uh, yun lang naman yung kaya ng utak ko ngayon eh. Oh, yun lang. <laughs> ito, hindi, hindi ko naman sisimplify yan. Uh, so, meron tayo ditong 0 is equal to uh, is equal to negative 120.375. So, ito yung values ng ating C1 and C2. Okay, so back to the problem. Determine the slope and deflection of the F and A of the cantilevered beam. So, uh, at point A, yung end A na to, that location is also equal to X is equal to 0. At A, at A, uh, X is equal to 0. Okay, so, yung uh, pinapahanap niya, ano daw yung slope dito, tsaka yung deflection. So, what is the slope or the Y prime? And what is also the y or the deflection? So, ayan. Punta, dito tayo, punta tayo dito. Simulan natin sa slope. Gamitin natin tong slope equation. Okay? So, at x is equal to 0, what is y prime or the slope? Gamitin natin tong slope equation. We have ei. y prime is equal to negative 5x squared minus x cube over 2 plus and yung c1 natin that's 58.5 58.5 okay so uh, palitan natin yung ating x ng 0 so y prime is equal to negative 5 times 0 is 0 okay no need to include yan 0 pala yun diba kapag ilagay yung 0 doon magiging 0 to same like with dito so meron lang tayo dito 58.5 and don't forget the EI or the flexural rigidity. I-divide natin dyan. And, alam pala natin yung value nyan. Sorry. Sa bug yung utak ko. Ayan. Andun pala yung EI. So, 200 gigapascal. Tapos, 65 times 10 raised to 6. Okay. Ito. 200 GPA times, ano yan? Uh, ano ulit? Nakalimutan ko na. Yung wheels ko makalimot. Parang siya. <laughs> Nakakatawa. 65 times 10 raised to 6. <coughs> 65 times 10 raised to 6 mm to the 4th power. So, before we proceed to uh, solve this, mga bis, no, you need to consider that yung units mo dapat sa numerator is the same sa denominator. So, sa numerator, yung mga ginamit mong units, di ba? Yung 58.5 na galing yan dito sa ating moment equation at which kilonewton tsaka meter yung unit natin. So, if the units in the numerator is in kilonewton at meter, dapat yung units mo din sa denominator should be the same para may unity of units. Tama ba? Ayan. So, paano natin yan gagawin? Uh, conversion na lang natin. Alam natin that uh, 1 GPA is equal to 1 million kilonewton per meter squared. So, kung bakit ganyan yan, uh, check out my previous video or uh, kaya nyo na yan guys, ba? conversion of units. So, 1 gigapascal is 1 million kilonewton. So, we can cancel GPA and GPA. Yung uh, detailed ano, explanation dito na sa previous video if you would like to check. Okay? And then, continuing with that, alam din natin that uh, 1 meter is equal to 1000 mm. I need to convert this mm into meter kasi yun yung nire-request sa numerator eh. 
And I need to raise this to the fourth power kasi naka fourth power din yun. Cancel mm, cancel mm. So okay na tayo mga bis no. Uh to solve for y prime or the slope, is slope at a. Okay? So calculator na lang natin 'yan. Mga bubuyog. Ayun, 1000 raised to 4. So our answer here mga bis is 0 0.0045. So, what is our unit here? Our unit here would be rads. Okay? So, if the problem requires you to express it in degrees, then convert nyo na lang. Pero, yung default na answer dito should be in rads. Okay? Uh, kapag degrees ka, convert na lang. So, yan. This is the uh, slope. Slope at uh, A. Okay? Let us now move on sa next na, uh, next na unknown. What is the deflection of at A? So, the deflection is A will also be the maximum deflection. Okay? Ito, di ba? So, yung slope na yon is this. Right? So, that slope is equal to 0 0.0045 rads. Yung tangent line at point A. Ngayon, ang kailangan tayong mahanap is yung length ng distance na to. That's Y max or Y A. Okay? Gamitin natin yung deflection equation. So, kopihin ko lang ito. Okay? So, that would be at X is equal to 0. What is y? So, plugging it into our equation, y is equal to kapag nilagay natin yung 0 dito, magiging 0 din lang. 0 dito magiging 0. Same likewise dito. So, we are left with C2. And ano ulit yung value ng C2 natin? That's negative 120.375. Okay? Negative 120.375. And we divide that with our EI. And our EI is same like this. Okay? So, that would be, panggalit ko na to, ilagay ko na lang yung ano ah, yung napag-usapan natin kanina. That is, 200 times 65 times 10 raised to 6. Ayan. Tapos, 1 million, parang 10 raised to 6 rin lang. 10 raised to 6. Tapos, ito, 1 over uh, 1,000 raised to 4. Okay, so, yung magiging sagot natin dito, mga bis, would be in meters. Okay? Bakit meters? Kasi, di ba, yung unit is in meters, same likewise dito. Kaya siya magiging meter. Okay? So, uh, calculate na lang natin yan. Using our calculator, ang sagot natin would be equal to uh, negative 0. 00925961 Mahaba yan, so on and so forth So, this is in meters Para makita natin yung uh, Significance niya, gawin natin millimeters 3 decimal, 1, 2, 3 That would be 9.20 Round of 9.26 mm So, negative yung sagot natin Kasi, yung deflection niya Is downwards Diba? Discuss natin yun sa ating previous videos. Pag positive, ibig sabihin pata. So, it's another also way of checking if tama nga yung sagot mo. Dap na dapat negative kasi pababa. Okay? Ayun. So, negative 9.6. So, ito, bababa siya ng 9.6 millimeters. That will also be your maximum deflection. Okay? So, that's it mga bis. Now, if you have some questions in mind or clarifications, kindly comment it down below and na-try natin yung sagutan. Okay? Mas lalo kapag medyo may mga mali-mali akong sinasabi dito, kindly correct it down below. Uh, it will be greatly appreciated. Okay? So, that's it mga bis. Please like, share, and subscribe. Huli ako pwede mabuhig na nagpapalala na sa inyo. Maglakbab, mag-enjoy, maglaro, manaliksik. Maging matinik. Jabby, out! Yay!